don't come to this building. If you got hurt in here, it would be forever till somebody found you. The, the demon basically said he was going to kill me. I've always been a very open-minded person. That's just how I am and how I was raised. But when you start to really think about what happens when you die, that's when the mind either opens even further or begins to close. My journey into seeking answers towards the afterlife took me to San Marcos, Texas just a month ago, where we encountered an abandoned church that nobody has ever investigated for paranormal activity before. This place has quite the long history, and some of the answers that we received during this investigation were a bit shocking to me, to say the least. But let's do this. So oftentimes people associate religion with the paranormal. There's obviously a very deep, um, I don't know, intertwining between the two subjects. Whether or not you believe in demons, that's something completely unrelated. But in all world religions, you seem to find some sort of a ghost or a spirit or even the concept of an afterlife. But it's not often that you're allowed to investigate a historic property that nobody has ever investigated for paranormal activity. A place that people in the town would die to get inside of. Uh, they've never really allowed visitors inside of this building. We were only given access because we knew the right people. We had proven that we were filming these videos for the right reasons. We're very thankful that we got in here. But today, we're at the First Baptist Church in San Marcos, Texas. This is a very historic property. An African-American church founded a long time ago. Rumors of a suicide in the basement and spectral activity found throughout the church. But that's about it guys. Today we're going to hop right in. Let's go to church. Oh, you, you're following me. I was just trying to be going to do it again. Linda, you were talking to me off camera with Jeff, sharing a little story. Will you just share it with our viewers real quick before we start? Well, I was telling Colin that uh, I was attacked by a demon twice. I've not talked about this with many people. Uh, in one of my previous husband's house, family house in uh, Georgia, we were there staying one night and uh, I was awoke being choked. There was nothing there, but there was something there and I was grabbing at trying to get it off my neck and uh, there was a conversation and it was, I know it was all in my head, but the, the demon basically said he was going to kill me. And I'm like, I don't know about you, but I don't plan on dying today. Anyway, so I, I like, this sounds so stupid. With the hands on me, I reached, I got to uh, our suitcase. Well, back, let me back up. We were moving away from there and everything was packed up. And me and the good Catholic, you always have the little cross by the door. Anyway, the last thing I grabbed when we were leaving was the cross and it was in my suitcase. I got the suit, got to the suitcase with this thing dragging on me and grabbed the cross. The demon said, that won't help you. It hasn't been blessed. And it wasn't blessed, but my son had bought it for me at San Jose Mission. And I said it was blessed by the love of a son for his mother. And the demon let go and said, we're not done. About a year later, my uh, father-in-law passed away and we had to go back. 
this time I took a, cru a blessed crucifix and my rosary with me and we were in the same room and the demon came again at night and uh, started choking me. I reached over, grabbed the crucifix and the uh, my rosary and it left. That would have been in 90... 1994. About five years later, I was at the HEB, the big HEB here, and this lady walked up. She touched me on the arm. And she goes, you've been attacked by a demon. And uh, I said, I just kind of went, well, yeah. And she says, he's not done with you. And she walked off. Of course, that was a long time ago, and I haven't had a demon, knock on wood. But uh, anyway, that's a long private demon story. Crazy. <laughs> What an interesting story though. <laughs> if you ever need help, you can go right here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda Coker. I'm a member of the Hayes County Historical Commission in the uh, what we call the Old African American Church. Uh, it's had several names through the years, but that's the, the locals call it. Uh, it was uh, a, in 1866, a group of freed slaves met wanting their own church and uh, Reverend Moses John, uh, they organized what they called the color Colored Baptist Zion Church. And uh, it was the first African-American congregation in this area. Uh, in 1872, the church became a charter member of the Guadalupe Baptist Association. And uh, that same year, 1872, the Ku Klux Klan burnt the church down. San Marcos has a bad KKK history, but we're over it. Then, uh, and that church was actually two blocks over where uh, what used to be Tuttle Lumber, where they're building the apartments right here, that's where that church was. Uh, they raised money, they, they met different places, they, uh, they worked really, really hard. And in 1908, uh, under Reverend Curry's leadership, they built this church. Uh, it was called the First Baptist Church NBC, which means National Baptist Convention of San Marcos. And then uh, they had service here until 1986 when, because of the uh, structural issues and stuff, they built a new church right across the street. It is a, a Texas historical landmark, and uh, we are anxiously waiting for it to be restored. We're hoping that somehow that's gonna happen really soon. The, uh, the only paranormal thing that I've ever heard about this building, and I have no idea, it's one of those legend, ha what I call legend has it. Uh, I have been told that there was a, a reverend or a deacon that hung himself in the basement and that he is down there, however, it's a really short ceiling, so it would have been kind of hard to do that. You'd had to basically just lay down. I don't know. Anyway, but that's the only paranormal story that I've had is that there uh, was activity in the basement when there would be uh, events going on down there. Was that confirmed that someone hanged themselves? I have never been able to find that. Very but, spooky legend. But though. the uh, you know back in the day, if it was early 1900s, that's not something that the newspaper would have necessarily reported on on an African American man. True. So, you know, it would not have been news necessarily. Interesting. And people haven't really ever done a ghost hunt here, have they? I don't think one's ever been done here. It's very, very, very few people other than older congregants of the church have ever even been in this building. It's You cannot imagine how lucky you are to be standing here now. There are people that would just give a left leg to be in this building, and it just never happens. Yeah, that's what so, I was thinking. It's yep. crazy. I think, given the history of the building and the history of the people that built the building and, and loved and lived in it, I cannot imagine that there wouldn't be some energy left behind. And I'm hoping you figure that out. Me too. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get any kind of weird feelings or anything. So whatever energy is here, I think would be a loving good energy. But it's a somewhat dangerous building too to yes. be in, just to warn people online in case they're considering. There's a lot of structural issues, uh, a lot of rotten wood, a lot of, it'd be a very, very dangerous place to come in and not know where to go and where not to go. I would not recommend it at all. Don't come to this building. <laughs> yeah, good. One, one, it has no trespass all over it. Yeah, exactly. And two, it, you, if you got hurt in here, it would be forever till somebody found you because it's not a frequently visited place. This church 
to the community is, is held in very high reverence. You want to walk over here with me? We yeah. Can, we can kind of show people uh, this little, what he called, what, the death drop? Yeah. <laughs> Bring your kids to Sunday school. Oops. Try to avoid the death drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so to people online, this is just one reason why you should not come. Because here are the stairs. And right here, this is, how tall is that? What did you say? 10, 12 feet? Oh, it's at least 12. Just drop. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, directly down. And you can see how rotten all those wood is, how mm -hmm. damaged. Yeah, the whole building is just got all that. The, that's why I was saying that there's some light in the building because of the whole, the little, where the wood's rotten. Such a cool building. It, it'll take a lot of money to fix this building. It's just yeah. a drop. In, it would be enough to maybe stabilize it a little bit, like stabilize the bell tower over there. But yeah, it's just a drop in the bucket. And he was it. saying before that that bell tower could just crumble it. Yeah, and it's, it's just been slowly, in the years that I've lived here, you can just see it kind of slowly. So, Man, yeah, you can really see this place is just falling apart in yeah. so many regards. The fact that it's still standing, it's a miracle in Seriously. Itself. So don't come here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> It's fairly, okay, so fairly fresh. Just to explain, we were doing a little walkthrough before we filmed because Linda's never been in the basement and we were going to look. None of us have been down there. And we came across, you can't show this on YouTube, but it's a fresh pile of poop. You think that looks dog? I think it looks dog. Yeah, that looks like dog to me, for sure. Kind of gross. Or human with the tiniest little. There's a, there's a big man right there. <laughs> I know. But you, but you saw, said you saw a figure of some sort? Uh, well, when Linda and Kurt were talking out front, I saw a figure, or I don't know how big it was, to be honest with you. I flashed by the door. But, I mean, that looks fairly fresh, doesn't it? It looks super fresh. Yeah. So, I don't know. That is the owner of a dog that has to pick it up all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Me too. Okay, well, you want to go first? So, hopefully, there's not a rabbit. No. Might have a, That's weird house. Uh, maybe there's a resonant here. Hello? I'm going to pick up a stick just in case here. How about bats? Do you know if there's bats in here, I wonder? Uh, I've never heard that. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, see, see oh, wow, look at this. Mm. Wow. What's that? Oh, there's that. These are old cans. Man, this is eerie down here. There's a guy working out back here. I saw him. Reservation mind is thinking, what will we do with this space if you restore the building? I have heard that there was a barbecue pit down here. Right here, look at this. And there it is. A barbecue pit in a church. This Texas would take our barbecue seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I think this stuff, this would be more like maybe food from like raccoons or something. He's looking down in the back here. Huh. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. This is kind of eerie right here, this thing. How somebody busted through this. You know they didn't leave it like that, you know? It's an old blackboard, isn't it? Or no. It's so it's kind of like okay. the school desk with the blackboard, but so 180 degrees from where it would have been new. Mm -hmm. Like this is like as opposite of what it would have been. <laughs> this is like school after a nuclear explosion. <laughs> Who knows what's uh, up in the crevices? Well, okay, I think we pretty much got, you know, a feel here. Should we set our stuff up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good idea.
Anything else you want to see? No, nope, I just wanted to see it. Now I can say I seen yeah. it. <laughs> so it's crazy that we were given access to this place. We're about to head in and investigate. And I just want to stress to you guys how important this building was to the city of San Marcos. Not only was it a gathering place for the African American community in times of need, but it was also a beacon of hope. When they originally built this church, it was a little bit down the street. And like Linda was saying, the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK, burned that church to the ground. Now, if you watched our video about the Hayes County Jail, then you'll remember the story of a young African-American boy having to drive the hearse for the Grand Wizard of the KKK, a local chapter, the most powerful, highest ranking guy in the KKK. He had to drive the hearse to the funeral of this guy while wearing a full-bodied hood himself. Now, this is how deep-seated this racism kind of is in the history of San Marcos. So to be given access to investigate a church that nobody has really ever been able to investigate, I actually don't think anybody ever has. And to be able to tell the story, to try to help raise awareness that this building exists in the first place, that's awesome. That's a motion sensing cat toy that's supposed to only light up if it's touched or moved. Oh, okay. you can clearly see there that none of us have touched it. Weird. That thing never goes off wow. too. It That'll sit there for hours at a place and not go off. That chair might have something to do with Yeah, this is like the only chair in the entire basement too. You know? So, sorry for that sudden introduction, but Jeff and I are now downstairs in the church. We have set up our static cameras for this investigation. They're going to be down here, both of them in the basement. First of all, let me show you this one. Over here, we have our first static camera. It's got a microphone. Here you go, here's the shot, an infrared illuminator. And we've actually set up a laser grid using this little device, which as you can see, projects dots of lasers, or what would you call that? It's a laser grid. It projects a laser grid onto the environment. So let's see. You can see when I turn on night shot even more clearly. Here's what it looks like. So if something moves right here, the static camera is going to pick it up. tripod, the Kinect. This is the SLS camera that tracks figures that may appear using Xbox Kinect technology motion tracking. You can see if I turn on the night shot, you can see it mapping out the environment live using its grid. Right here, this is the original shot. So there's what it'll do if it detects a figure. Does it see me? Yep. And so that we can monitor this remotely, we have this static camera pointing at the Kinect screen right there. So we're capturing everything, even when we're investigating other parts of the church. And that's actually the old kind of bathroom area. Yep. Up all through here, with the table, old table from original. And kind of the kitchen too. The kitchen as well. Hey, Let's see, go upstairs and you start. You can see all the stuff like the breathing down here. So we've set up devices upstairs here in the church, and already the REM pod has started to hit. Okay, over that there. hasn't gone off again now. We know you guys worship here all these years. There was a lot of strife. Can you come out and, and talk to us?
Jeff Place using came. the ovulus right here. Place came. Is this a place that you came to worship? Is this the place you came to when you wanted to connect with God? That was actually a baptismal bath there. Linda and I were talking about. Oh. And you can see the river, it's supposed to be like flowing into that huge tub. Let's go look at it. So, a certain hand place. Hmm. This is a bad oh. Can you light that up more for us if you're here? Don't be afraid of us. We're friendly. We know about your history. Is this where you got baptized? Boy adultery. Oh. Wow, that would be a sin. Certain adultery boy. What's the boy's name? Oh, it's like it wants to tell us a name. Yeah. What's your name? Did you get baptized right here in this tub? Can you see down in there? It's pretty deep. Save. Save. Elemental. Save. Weird. Were you saved here when you were baptized? Do you believe in God? I do feel some, I feel some like energy here for sure. Is this where you were saved? Were you baptized in this baptismal bath right here? See how that flows? Like when they were saying that river, it's supposed to like kind of flow into here. They had water flowing down into here. Weird. Flowing water is something that supposedly supercharges a place with paranormal activity. There you go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Wow. Is this a place you've been saved? What's it your name? Give us a name. Talk into this box right here. Maybe it was Go somebody. Into the baptismal right here. Oh, yeah. See that? Walk up the stairs. And then also to the door. down there, look at the ladder. You'd walk down, go climb down that ladder. Oh, crazy. What the hell? I mean, heck. <laughs> we know this is a very historic church and a huge part of the civil rights movement. They had a lot of meetings in here. So we're here just to kind of expose your history and we're completely friendly to your cause. We're not here to harm you. King. Oh, King. The one true oh. King. Our Lord and Savior, the King. What do they call save Jesus? The King. King of all Kings? It said save yeah. again? Save. Wow. King. Save and King. Also, we're on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Is this really? Yeah, this building's on MLK Drive. Is it the king of, well, what would that be actually? I don't know. The king of... Is Jesus king? So actually, unbeknownst to us at the time, when we were upstairs asking questions about Jesus and stuff like that, the static camera below had actually captured the motion ball lighting and illuminating by itself. You guys have seen us use this thing many times on our investigations and we have, I don't even think one time, seen it light up by itself, but it was doing that while we were talking about Jesus. Unfortunately, the microphone for some reason did not capture any audio. And this is on the static camera, not the hero camera, not the same issue that I had in the last video. This camera microphone was plugged in, everything was working, but it just didn't record anything. It's really weird. I'll play the real audio with the clip uh, now and show you guys what it looked like. Remember, this is what we were talking about, Jesus.
Is God your king? Are you saved? The king of heaven? I don't know what there would be a saying. Dude. There's definitely something about Like that, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Is God... That's like the kingdom, you know? Yeah, the kingdom. Have you been to the kingdom? Can anyone who's in here, everybody, can you come over to the baptismal bath and give us some names? Some names. We know you're here. This is very historic. This is a place that you worship for years and years. Iron. What does iron mean? Or almost nails. Jesus' nails. Yeah, could be. King, the king, Jesus. His nails, wasn't he crucified at like dawn or sunset or something? Yeah, I'm not even sure. I, sh when I should was, know when my was history Jesus? on that. When was he crucified? Jeez. Of course, I grew up Catholic, so I should know that. <laughs> I was going to point out earlier, too, what if this person that we're talking to had committed adultery with a boy uh -huh. and then came here to be saved? Uh -huh. Like they had done these sins, they're admitting them to us, kind of like they would here to somebody. Maybe they served their time and were repentant yeah. and came to... I almost feel like everybody is standing out here yeah, just watching us, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, can't you, can't you kind of imagine like people out here saying your ministry to them? Mm -hmm. All They'd all be gathered right here. Right out. All right here. It's kind of eerie, honestly. Huh? Like, I feel genuinely like I can see like... And this 50 goes, like shadows oh, way up and the ceiling is high like a, just these like shadow figures just standing yeah. here like kind of staring at us and this thing stopped going off and this thing stopped giving do you think we it. should move yeah try it where do you want to go you take it somewhere okay turn this off for a watch your step there's like a lot of nails sticking up here Yeah, there's like a room of some sort. There's like a room back here. I don't know what this room was for. Well, it would have been, you know, it would have been behind the altar. So this would have probably been like where the minister, minister rooms were. Oh. It's really bad here. Oh, wow. Yeah, stinky. Maybe we'll get something, maybe out in the congregation. At one point, worshiped here. We come in peace. Peace be with you. We just would like to talk to you. Actually, let's run an idea. My father was Baptist, even though I grew up Catholic with my, my mother and my sisters. Can you give me a sign that you understand what I'm saying? You can walk over here, you can walk over by this light down here where you would be sitting during a service. Oh my God, mistake, finish, baby. Maybe. Huh. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, In the Baptist church. Possibly. Baby, finish. Maybe someone who regretted ending their pregnancy. It was a mistake to finish my baby. Yeah, could be. That light's going off on that. Can you guys join me in prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as, is, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us our trespasses. As we, we forgive, forgive those who have trespassed, trespassed against us. And lead us not, not into in temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. No, in the name. That's for the power of the glory. For the glory. power of the glory. 
forever and yours? For the glory and the power forever and ever. Or something like that. Shit. <laughs> Amen. I don't know if Hail Mary is part of the Baptist. Do you know? I don't know. Hail I don't know Mary. much about Baptist branches. Yeah, my dad was Baptist, like I said. but. Uh, you know, honestly, I feel like we had a really, really intense moment over there uh -huh. of activity. The light just went off there. But but now I feel like this energy has left this room. Almost like it came through to tell us about the king, how it was saved. That's bizarre, by the baptism tub. Yeah. Saved, that's what a baptism is, is rebirth, saving your soul, basically. I think we should go down to the basement. Oh, that noise hit. Yeah. The noise went off. Can you make that device go more? Are you coming in? Have you been to heaven? Have you seen heaven? What the hell? What the heck? I wonder if one more time we should just go back to the altar one more time and then go down. Or don't. You don't, don't want to do that. Is that what you want us to do? Hmm. Were you saved by Jesus? Come over and gather on there, around here, and make these lights go. Can you give us one light for yes? Use your energy and go more. Well, it's really flashing. Wait, you can see the REM pods. Or the ovulus is detecting energy too. Yeah. It's kind of interesting down here how you can see the ovulus still in the same word, but it's, it's that yellow light right there is detecting EMF energy. And it's coinciding with the REM pod. Can you light up the other lights? Knock. Light up the other lights for us. And look, at, as this is stronger, the ovulus is showing that it's stronger. Do you believe in God like Colin asked you? You must believe in God. If you believe in God, then make the lights light up more. Show your faith. No disrespect, but... That's a really strong light, though, when you ask that. Want to go downstairs, then? Yeah, let's go downstairs. Leave this, or...? Let's bring this. And just that tone. Home? Tone. Tone. Oh. Tone. Like the tone of that, I don't know. For you guys online, the SLS is technology that is supposedly able to map out spirits using uh, Connect technology from the Xbox. It has a little infrared grid that maps out. Um, it's used for VR games to map out human figures in the environment using like hand analyzation, faces and everything, and that's why People think it's interesting when you're able to pick up on these figures in these haunted locations when there's obviously nothing in front of the camera that resembles a human. You know, they could be up in the rafters, you know? It doesn't matter. A spirit can be anywhere. Are, are you somewhere like by the baptismal? I would think that's where you'd be, but... Let's go walk up there. What do you think? Here's some knocking. Yeah, you? there was some knocking over From there. Here? Over there. Hello. This is the baptismal. I would think, like you walked up the stairs. Are you here? 
Oh. Oh, jeez. Blind Copper Nation. I'm just not feeling any energy up here, man. I think we should go downstairs. Okay. That's where we should focus. Let me just do one shot down here. Okay, so we got, for some reason, both of our camera battery lights just refuse to work, so I have to plug it in using this charger and have it plugged in the whole time, but now that we got light, we're gonna go downstairs into the basement where supposedly the Reverend hung himself, we're, um, hanged, have, I should say. Do you have a spirit box? Us, sun, side. This is like, kind of crazy though, S-O-N. Wait, hold on, let me see. Like the Son of God? Yeah. Us, all of us in the uh -huh. congregation, it's a sign. Or what sign are you going to show us? Okay, let's go down. Okay. Is there anybody upstairs? Yeah, you can go. Yeah, by the way, you don't want to go to that upstairs because I did earlier and it's covered in poop and it's yeah. really structurally unstable. If you die... Oh, what the hell? What's happening? Oh, shoot. Dang it. The whole thing is dead. Well... What do you mean? Oh, that's still going. That's still going. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. So today is gonna be a huge day in my life. Um, so that's why the video is a little bit on the shorter side today because I have some really important things that I have to do that you will hear about very soon. Um, but I just wanted to remind you guys that we're posting the static camera footage from our investigations on the Patreon for the channel. The link is in the description of the show. If you appreciate the work that we're doing here, please consider buying a piece of merchandise, becoming a patron on Patreon. All of it helps so much. And I'm planning some really big shoots from New Orleans to Baltimore, uh, Detroit, lots of different places across the US and the world that I wanna travel to. So I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. The static camera footage is crazy, and uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna have a great day for sure. Excellent. And what the hell, this wristlight died too. What? The laser pen died. Okay, now that's that's weird. So, so I'm just starting again. This had shut off, and then what the hell happened to the grid though? It's a brand new lithium AAA battery I put in there. Date threat used threat. The last word that came through, as you can see right there, threat. Right. right when we're talking about this stuff dying. So we came downstairs, been upstairs investigating for a while. This is supposedly the area with the former member of the church who uh, hanged themselves. Don't know if that's true or not, but that's what people in town have said, and they said that his ghost haunts this area. And then we came down and the SLS camera, the tablet had just shut off on its own, but it still has a battery. There's no sleep mode on this. We specifically, yeah, off, yeah, yeah specifically put sleep mode uh, on off. Then over here, I can't believe this, uh, the light's off. Yeah. What the heck? Look it's it. still, what? Yeah, look it. it was all over, you know, all over here. Look at it's just about to die. <sighs> look at come over here. It's not really even that cold here. Look at. Can you see that? Careful where you're stepping because there are nails. I know. You know what? It does there. It just shows up barely in your hand right there. Look at here. You have to get really close to see the light. So that right thing there. already died. Okay, that's a lithium battery. An actual lithium battery. Well, well it might as well just keep it because it's not gonna. We don't want to forget. Well, that was interesting. Sacrifice. Right when that happened. Sacrifice went. 
Did you sacrifice yourself down here? Is that what happened? You went to go meet Jesus earlier than you thought you would? What was your sacrifice for? You know, earlier you had this motion ball going off. And this, this light right in front of us on this chair. If you're down here, can you make that light go off? I think you drained our dot matrix pen. Are you down here in the basement? Look at your SLS dot already. What? Right there. What the hell is going on with that? This, it's the same technology as this one, but this screen has been on since we were upstairs, yeah. and that screen already died, but it's got full battery. That's what's trippy. That's a brand, this is a, again, this is the same battery. But for some reason, plants faster. Oh, it's active. Heat plants faster. Heat. Interesting that we're by the kitchen. Maybe cook. There's cook the, kitchen the vegetables over there. faster. You want to go look in there? Yeah. Are you over here in the kitchen? You want some food? It's probably been a while since you've eaten. You know, I kind of feel like um, this place has like such old energy mm -hmm. to me, you know? It's almost like just whatever residual energy is left, it's just like that, you know? It's just residual energy. I feel like we made a really interesting connection up by the baptismal, uh -huh. but then past that, it's kind of dead. Yeah, unless there's anything captured when we're gone here. Well, everybody, this is your last chance Whoever's down here, do you regret hanging yourself if you did it? Where did you hang yourself from? It said fan. A fan? Fan luck. Heart. Interesting. I don't know. It's hard to piece that together. For me, it's kind of like when we first came, we didn't capture it, but the REM pod was going off and that light. It's almost like it just dissipated. Yeah. It was Doesn't just, it seem like that? Neither of the REM pods have gone off at all. Well, lately. I mean, they did, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. And there's nothing on the SLS on either of them, which proves its validity when we use it in other places and we get stuff. Also, this building is really old, really kind of dangerous, and... There's so much stuff in there that is making my nose yeah. get clogged and yeah, I'm getting a really bad headache. Yeah, me too. So just think about that pen light though, actually, when I put a brand new, I mean, I literally have a charge, you know, one of those testers. I just got that ready. I mean, it's a full battery. Yeah. Honestly, what would explain that? I mean, it's a, it's a dot matrix pen. That would go for days. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's just, I mean, I don't get those kind of things. Like you're not gonna, they're not, they don't have equipment that burns out in an hour. But I mean, if you had that at home, I mean, it's just, it's like, it, would, it's, it stays on. Yeah. You just turn on and you turn off, it keeps going for like weeks. Hmm. I don't know. It is definitely a lot of stuff in the air down here though. Okay, everybody, but it was truly a blessing being able to investigate this building and being able to see the inside and hearing the stories. This is an extremely historic location a cherished place by the community of San Marcos. And I want to just thank everybody who helped make this happen. And Linda. Yep, Kate. Linda's amazing. Everybody that was Very here and helpful. helped us. Yeah, I thought that we got some really interesting results right away, but this was more about the history and just kind of seeing the inside of this building that nobody has ever really been allowed inside of. Like Linda was telling us yeah. earlier, people would die to get into this building. So it's it's been a blessing, but from Jeff and I, it's been a good day. Yep. Uh, we're gonna head off to our final location of the trip tomorrow. But uh, we love you guys and stay, stay spooky. spooky! Woo! Bye.
Hello. 